Hi, I'm Kai, and today I want to give you a new episode of five tips and tricks for beginner and advanced users of ePlan. The five tips and tricks I show you here should help you to work more efficiently with ePlan. So stay tuned. So the first thing we want to have a look on is here the PLC inputs. You can see that the left input has the function text visible here in the PLC box and the right one not. The different I have show the insert points here, those small black points with eye on your keyboard, you can make them visible. And the reason for this is that this function text here is aligned with this connection. And this connection is the reason why it's shown here in this PLC box. For a little bit better view, or if you like the design a little bit more, you want to have it like here as a basic center function text. So you can make the setting here at format and basic center and want to have it centered after the um, below the PLC box. And that means that you will not get the function text here. The result is also that you will not get the function text on the PLC overview page. But there is a solution in ePlan. As long as your text and the PLC box or cable or whatever is in one pass. So first of all, I go to view and make the path areas visible. So you see that the function text is in the same path as the connection point of the PLC box. And now we go to file and settings. And like always in ePlan, you have some settings for something. We go to project, our project, graphical editing under general. And here we set the checkbox for extend path function text on the schematic path. We click apply and okay. And you see that directly the function text is shown also in the PLC box. And now it doesn't matter if I place it here on the left side or on the right side, as long as it's in the same path. So when I update now the connections, you see that it's gone because it's out of the path. So the next tip is to get a better, better overview over your page navigator and also the pages. You can see that I have opened up several projects here. Some are macro projects, other are normal projects. One is for this YouTube video. And to highlight it in which project I am, you can activate some colors to get, for example, the colors here in your page navigator and also here some frame around your page to see in which project you are. Therefore, we go to file and settings and then we need to start with the user settings so we go to user display and project groups and here you can see that we have already two groups schematic projects and macro projects it's not possible to change this this is some default from ePlan but we can add some other groups And then we need to activate the colors here on the right side and click apply. And then we have the colors available. And as you can see, now everything has the same color. The reason for this is that also your project needs to be changed. So therefore we go to the project display and project group assignment. And for example, this project should be my customer one project. The macro project here should be the macro project and my YouTube video should be my YouTube video. So I click apply and now you see on the left side and also here in the settings that we get the colors. And when we change now the pages, you see here a green border around or when we go to another project, for instance here, you see the other color, and that makes it easier to see in which project you are in the moment. It also works for the navigators. Maybe you get some informations from your customer on a Word or an Excel file, or maybe on Google Sheets or Google Documents, and you want to add it in ePlan. 
Sure, you can always, for example, open up here the cable and when the, your customer get, give you uh, some um, function text for this cable, you can copy and paste it here. A little bit quicker works with drag and drop. For example, I have here cable one from the customer should be motor one. You can mark the text in your, I use Google Sheets. It works also with Excel, Word and so on. And just drag and drop it here on the position. Then you don't need to copy and paste. Maybe you have some more information here, which you can use here. For sure, it works for all the fields where you can add something. Most important is just that you mark it and drag and drop. When you make some panel arrangement, doesn't matter in Pro Panel or in 2D, you normally looking for a center between two points or the middle between two points. This is an e-plan really easy to find it. As an example, we want to find the center of this mounting plate here on the right side. What is the middle between this corner and this corner? And we want to insert some linear dimension. So I mark this here and then I place my cursor over the first edge and I use the control button, keep it pressed on my keyboard and mark the first point. Now you see that I have this green line here and I go to the second point and mark this as well. And now my linear dimension is in the center between these two points and I can, for example, measure here to the top distance and know exactly the middle between these two points. So when we generate a report, we typically go to tools and then to generate, we set up a template for this and generate a report. And then you will see the report here under reports tab. And for example, we want to see the connection list and you want to directly check if it's right or wrong or something is missing or maybe your formula is wrong or something like this. It is not necessary to close it here and go to the page navigator, you can directly jump from the report with a right click and open page to your report and can have a look if the form is right or the report is right and don't need to close it and search for it in the page navigator. So I hope you didn't know all these tips and tricks already. What's your favorite tips and tricks from this video and maybe which recommendation do you have for other users in ePlan to work more efficiently? Please write it below in the comment. If you liked this video, please drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.